Boys, Atomic Samurai is finally finished. There's a bunch of new moves, including new combos for M1s, 20 new emotes, a ton of new cosmetics, changes to Saitama, and so, so much more. And today, all of it has been released in today's update. So sit back, relax, and I am going to showcase to you every single thing that has been added in this update. Starting off with the number one thing that 99% of you clicked on this video for, and that is the two new Atomic Samurai Ultimate moves. Now, honestly, this update just came out and I haven't gotten the chance to see these yet. So I'm super excited to see this. Okay, here we go. There's the weakest dummy. I'm going to activate my ultimate. Here we go. Boom. Ultimate activated. Okay, so the new two moves are Sunrise and Atomic Slash. Let's see what Sunrise is all about. Okay. Okay. A cut scene. I like it. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, tons of cool effects. Oh my gosh, dude. This looks like it's straight out of Smash Bros. That's awesome. And that does 47% of the opponent's health. And then you have Atomic Slash. Let's see how this one works. Okay, pretty interesting. Whoa, what? Yo, dude, this is so cool. Yo, what? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's the single-handedly coolest move in the entire game. Hold on, I gotta take one more look at that. Okay, so Atomic Slash, here we go. This looks so interesting. Okay, dude, you go into like the atoms of the person that you're fighting and like, bro, that's crazy. And that move does 50% of the opponent's health, which is pretty crazy. Okay, guys, well, there is the two new moves for Atomic Samurai, and they look so nice. Now, I'm sure the question on everyone's mind is when it's going to actually become free. And guys, I'm happy to say I actually have an answer for you. Here in the Discord server in the update log, you can see that the owner right here said Blade Master will be free next weekend to let early access users experience it fully. So basically, early access players are going to have it for one more week, and then it's going to be released to the general public. So that's going to be super fun. I'm super, super excited to see this character finally get released. All right, guys, next up, there have been some massive changes to combat, and these are going to change how combat works in the strongest battlegrounds forever. So let me just quickly show you. If we spawn a dummy and it's next to a tree, hopefully I'm understanding how to do this correctly. Wait, so is it like a couple M1s and then you dash forward? Hang on, I got to figure out how to do this. So M1, 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 and then dash? Wait, what? Hang on, guys, I got to figure out how to do this. Oh, wait, yo, I do it. Oh, wait, I'm doing it. Okay, okay, that's good. So what you gotta do is you gotta do four M1. So that's two, three, four, and then instantly dash while they're against the tree. Okay, I did it wrong that time. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Here's the dummy. Three, four, and then, yep, four dash right after you hit them with the fourth M1. And as you can see, that does 26% of the opponent's health. Bro, that looks so cool. I wonder, are there like variations of it maybe? Also, it is kind of ridiculously hard to land consistently. One, two, three, four, dash. Yeah, dude. Dude, this is so hard to land consistently. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it again. Let's see. Is there any variance? Nah, that's just pretty much it. But still, this is super, super cool. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. And I'm sure that we'll definitely see this getting integrated into some combos in the very near future. So keep your eyes out for that. Also, guys, I just want to say there's a lot of smaller things in this update that I will be covering in a video either later today or tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow. So keep your eyes out for that. All right, guys, next up, there are 20 new emotes in this update. And guys, right now, I'm going to be covering everything every last one of them. So if you're not particularly interested in the emotes, you can skip to this point in the video and that's whenever I'll be done with all the emotes and move on to the next thing. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and buy all of these emotes and showcase them. Let's go. All right, guys, first up is the 360 emote. So it's pretty cool. That's pretty much the whole thing. So next up, let's move on to the not -uh emote, which is quite frankly, kind of disturbing. Why, why do I have hands? I don't like that. Next up is the happy steps emote, which is a traversal emote. Then it's rock and roll which also looks pretty cool. This one will definitely look good next to the guitar emote. Next up, we need a drum emote. We're gonna have a whole rock band in a couple updates. Next up is the Alwyn emote, which once again has human hands for some reason. Then it's the clap emote. At least this one doesn't have human hands, but this emote does require you to have a like teammate to do it with. So let me quickly get my alt in here and show this emote off. All right, guys, I'm here with my alt. So I'm gonna do this emote and then have my alt join in. And yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty cool emote. It's Patty cakes. It's pretty awesome. And I does this emote go forever? I, I can't tell. 2,000 years 
later. Yep, okay, yep, you're just perpetually playing patty cakes. Cool. Next up is the hunter emote, which looks pretty normal. Just sort of walking around. Then it's the bye-bye emote, which once again has human hands. Dude, what 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 is this? Whose idea was it to put these hands in the strongest battlegrounds? I I I, I don't like it. Okay, this one is called jumping jacks. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. We also have the weightlifting emote now as well. Except I got that one added a couple updates ago. But you know, you know, we're we're staying fit in the strongest battlegrounds. We might have to have a whole workout set sometime. Okay, now following up the hunter move, we have the hunt head emote, which looks like this. Kind of a little bit crazy. This is, uh, this is, this is kind of a scary emote. I'm not gonna lie. Next up is the foot rest emote. Sort of like the thinker emote, but just more like, I guess you're not really sitting on the rock. You're more like standing on it. Pretty cool emote. I like it. Next up is the calculated emote. So yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Doing some, some big brain math. Am dead, where you step into a coffin and then the coffin closes, except your accessories and cape still stick out the back. But I feel like this will be good for like hide and seek and stuff. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, and it actually also appears to have an opening emote as well. It does. Next up is the cart ride emote where you can ride around on a cart. Sort of like the skateboard emote. Do you ever speed up? Yep. Okay, you do. Wow, that is a lot faster than the skateboard emote. Jeez. If I turn up attack speed multiplier and use that emote now, what's gonna happen? Oh, yo, I'm so fast. Dude, I'm so quick. <laughs> I think this is my new favorite emote. Or second favorite emote. Of course, the weightlifting emote's always going to take priority. All right, our next emote is called come. Here, let's see. What, what's these? Oh, okay, he's just motioning. Okay, like, come here. Okay, this one is called gunshot. Okay, let's see. That's, uh, th that's not a gun. That's a, f that's a flashlight? Is that a flashlight? What is that? This one is definitely called gunshot. Uh, I don't see what this has to do with gunshots. You're just kind of, like, blaring a flashlight into your eyes. Good thing I got these cool shades. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, this kind of confuses me. Oh, wait, is this a mic? Is this supposed to be a microphone? What is this? Okay, guys, next up is the show me emote. Okay, am I about to float into the sky? No, nope, okay, guess not. That that just sort of seems to be a theme. Okay, yeah, no, it's, it's a pretty short emote, but I like it. Okay, this one is called steal. This appears to be one that you need a partner for, so I got my alt account back here. Let's see, let's do this emote. Okay, okay, so the opponent kind of like comes up and tries to punch you and you just like take no damage. Okay, is this, is this it? Does this just go on for eternity? Oh, okay, no, it ends. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, and then you start fighting back. You're just like, nah, uh Yeah, you tell him nah, uh with your human hands. All right, guys, last but certainly not least is the March emote. I like this one. It's got some cool particle effects. It looks pretty nice. So yeah, guys, that's all the emotes completed. I'd like to give a warm welcome back to all the people that skipped past all the emotes to this point. All right, guys, next up, there's a bunch of new cosmetics, and I'm gonna show them to you right now. But yeah, guys, if you wanna skip past the cosmetics as well, skip to this point on your screen. So first up is a new free cosmetic called the guild cape and to get this one you have to join the yielding arts group and i'll show you how to do that in just a second but yeah as you can see it literally has like a neon glow to it it looks so cool i'm a huge fan of this and it's got some cool like effects on it as well to make it like have clothing physics or whatever so yeah if you want to get that cape just come to the game page click yielding arts right here it's the group and then just join this group next up is a cape that you probably recognize already but it now has a new cape for it and that is the white cape the white cape basically was just really basic before and they modified it and made it look really nice now. And this is actually all thanks to a module on Roblox. Now I'm going to get a little bit nerdy for just a second. Basically, I was a game developer before I started content creation. Anyways, there's this really popular module on Roblox called Smartbone and they recently released a new iteration of it that makes like cloth mechanics more realistic. And so I guess the owner was having fun with that and wanted to recreate some capes and make some new ones. And I got to admit the capes feel a lot nicer now. They like bend with the wind and stuff. It's really cool. But yeah, there's a bunch of new cosmetics and I'm going to cover those right now. So first up is the royal cape, which requires 1,200 kills. And this is what it looks like. Pretty nice. Then there's the jagged cape, which kind of makes you look like Batman. Also nice. Next up is the conqueror cape, which looks like this. Sort of Superman-esque. Moving up to 3,600 kills is the torn cape, which looks like this. The bottom half of it's missing. After that is the tattered cape, which looks pretty interesting as well. Then it's the worn cape, which makes you look even more like Batman. And then finally, we have the dark aura, which just gives your character literally just a dark aura. And then you can put on all the Batman accessories at the same time and truly embrace your inner Batman. Or if you want a really cool cape, you could always use mine. All right, guys, next up, there have been some serious changes to Serious Punch. And to showcase them, I'm going to activate my ultimate and show them. So guys, Serious Punch is actually no longer escapable.
level. So once your enemy gets knocked back by wind, they will not be able to escape it. And the impact frames look a little bit different. But the primary thing is the fact that your opponent physically can no longer escape. And so this ultimate is finally actually good. And you can finally get kills from it. Because in case you didn't know, you only get kills from serious punch and table flip if you hit them with wind at the start of the move. Next up, guys, we've got some pretty sad news. The bench, the infamous bench that was sideways and floating and looked kind of weird, but we made it famous. That poor bench has finally been reverted back to normal. It's been forced back into society. Hashtag justice for bench in the comments down below. Oh, by the way, guys, to all my pro players out there, your ranked titles and your like kills titles will now stack. So you can have multiple titles equipped at once. There's also a bug that I talked to the owner about and I think it's fixed now, which is that like if you were on a leaderboard or were a pretty high ranking player, then every time that you join the game, it would notify the entire server in chat that you joined. But now if you have hide title enabled in the settings, it shouldn't do that anymore. So yeah, shout out to Ryan the Great 1208 on the leaderboard here. Because whenever I was recording with him, he let me know about that and then I let the owner know and he was like, oh, okay, my bad. Let me fix that. So it's fixed now, which is pretty great. Also, I covered it on stream yesterday, but if we actually come over here, you can see we finally have a new number one player. This is so cool. We've been waiting for so long. But yeah, guys, Jack has finally taken the number one slot as Keem falls behind. Now all eyes shift to Fried as we wait and see if he becomes the new number two player. Honestly, Jack has been number one for a long time ever since all the stuff came out against Keem, but it's nice for it to finally be set in stone on the all-time champions leaderboard. Also, guys, you know how when you death counter someone and then they leave, you're able to like aim your death counter? Yeah, that, that got removed. That is no longer in the game. Same thing with death blow. Oh, guys, I also almost completely forgot. There's actually spawning in animations now. So as you can see, I just did an animation there. So there, there's, there's a couple different animations and uh, just depending on what character you're using, it'll change. So I'm using Saitama right now. So it looks like this. And if I switch to Hero Hunter, it looks like this. And if I switch to Genos, it's going to look like this, which is pretty cool. Here that is one more time. So as you can see, it's sort of just aiming. Then if we switch to Sonic, as you can see, it's got a pretty insane loading in animation. And I just want to say, if you want to like skip the animation, you can just move. Like, like you, do, you don't have to sit through the animation. You can just move and the animation will stop. Would be nice if they'd add a setting to disable it though. Owner, if you're watching, maybe add a setting for it. All right, next up is Metal Bat, which also has a pretty cool loading in animation. And next up, Atomic Samurai also has a loading in animation, which looks pretty cool. Here, I'll let you see that one more time. So as you can see, you load in and then pull the sword out and do that. Now, I want to check. Does Gojo have an like spawn in animation? Let's see. Gojo spawn in animation? No. Okay. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Also, guys, as of the time of recording this, in 10 hours, it's going to be the two year anniversary of the Strongest Battlegrounds. Or not two years. One year. One year anniversary. Which it's kind of insane to think that this game has literally not even been out for a year. But yeah, guys, as of the time of this video releasing, that'll probably be like nine or eight hours. So be on the lookout because they'll probably do something really special for that. Maybe even release the next character, which we still don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to have to guess that it's not going to be Boros. I'm sorry. I've guessed Boros one too many times. I've lost hope that Boros is getting added to the game. I'm not going to lie. This person right here does have a pretty interesting theory though. Death Gatling new character because he got his cape added to the game. Not a bad theory, but it also doesn't really prove that they're going to get added to the game, but maybe we'll have to keep an eye out. It's almost time for the next character. For real, dude. I'm so excited. It's literally coming out next weekend. So keep your eyes out for that. Or at least Atomic Samurai is becoming free next weekend and most likely they're going to be releasing the next character at the same time. Also guys, I saw this leak yesterday of the owner posting this and honestly I, I, I thought it was a joke. I never expected them to actually add hands to the strongest battlegrounds and then they mustered all the audacity in the universe and made this. But yeah guys, the community has a lot to say. I'm quite excited to see what the next character is. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm excited for the new update. Anyways, guys, I'm a huge fan of this update and everything that's in it. And I can't wait to see what comes next in the following weeks because I just know that they've been working on the next character already. And it's just a matter of time before we get to see it. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this update in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.